half a million dollars. Can we for can we talk quality. about the seven six votes? I'm happy. And, and, you, you know, you know, you know said like, that you won the, the guys. I've been, I've been very You said you won the Dr. King Award. Mm -hmm. You acknowledge that you have white privilege. Mm -hmm. How do you know that your privilege did not play a role in you being on the wrong side of history mm -hmm. with this vote? We're really concerned about that. You have people of color, you have allies here saying that we want to see a focus on equity. We want to see police accountability. We want to see the police cut bud the police budget cut. And you're giving us the runaround when all we're looking for is clear answers on where you stand and where you're going to stand on December 10th. You came to the small mall a while back, a long time ago. You said that you would go for equity and you understood that off of Lake Street. I'm telling you right right now is is this first, first of all there there's I mean do we want to go over the, all the details? I want to know. No, we just want a straight answer because we, we disagree. Equity is important. Staff positions are important and focused on equity. We're tired of business as usual in this city, and you are reinforcing the status quo through your actions. Why are you just, doing I have a law degree just like you. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective, how you're saying, you know, law, you're looking, you're doing all this. From my perspective, you have been privileged your entire life, and you have people of color who live in the trenches telling you that we want to see equity, but you're making it seem like we don't know what we're talking about. Like we can't see through the okie doke. We want you to take a stand for equity. Somebody say yeah if you agree. Yeah. Yes. Every one of you does obviously know what you're talking about. And yeah, because we live it. We live it to, every to, single to day. You are living it every single day, and I'm not. Um, I'm not, and, and I acknowledge that. No, no, Mr. Frey, I have a question for you. No, you I think I've explained myself. No, you need to have a question. She had a very valid question right here. She had a very valid question, this young lady right here. There's 15 really trillion questions. Okay. Okay. This, one, this one is very important. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Let's just focus on one question. Yeah, and then her question. sister asked why he I'm looked sorry. at the Somali it's community, right. which is number one in the country. Right. The Somali community, the highest yeah. populated yeah. state in Minnesota, 200,000 Somalis. A lot of politicians have a habit of sucking up to them just for the votes. The sister just asked a simple question. Everybody else, don't say a word. Why did you tell them straight in their face you would never vote against it? That's it. That's the only question we want you to answer. I talked to you for a good 40 minutes there. You said equity was a big issue and you would always talk for it. I want to know why you equity voted is Equity it. is a huge issue for so me. And you? I'll, I'll tell you right now, I want to see... Action. No, why did why? you why answer did that you question? It's called hypocrisy. It is called hypocrisy. You're a hypocrite. You can't answer it. You're a hypocrite. 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 you are a hypocrite 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 you are a hypocr